And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called We Rate Dogs, the card game, which is based on the website We Rate Dogs. Uh, in this game, it says all dogs may be a 10 out of 10. A little confusing to me, because I feel like I've definitely met dogs that are not a 10 out of 10. But, be that as it may, here you are going to prove that you have the best dog at the dog show. All right, so in this game, you're going to have dogs they are going to be rated on different categories, not because they know how to run up along a fence and jump and do sorts of things, but basically how boopable they are. Here's how it plays. The game is going to use a deck of dog cards here, and the different dogs, there's pictures of that dog, and it tells you a little bit about the dog, and then it rates them in Floof, Sass, Boopability, Zoom, Ears, Wag, and Goodness. None of the ratings will ever go below 10, so, because every dog is a good dog, which makes me think if you are a 10, like this guy's ears are a 10 out of 10, that's pretty terrible. Uh, I'm not really sure how the ratings came across, because for example, here's Leela, uh, who lost and I rescuing a baby from an avalanche. Goodness, 17. Uh, Noodle lifted a cup or fit into a cup. They get 19. Uh, 21, and this one wearing a hat, and I'm all for wearing hats, but uh, 24. So how those dogs are better than the one rescuing a baby from avalanche, I don't know. I don't know that I should care that much. I may be putting too much thought into this. Uh, at the beginning of the game, you're going to be putting dogs out in the middle, and players are going to take turns drafting these dogs. When you draft a dog, you're going to put a token of your type on it, and everyone has different color tokens that you'll just place right here, and then you'll put all the different dogs that you have in front of you. There's going to be a bunch of try for the circle rounds equal to the number of players, and in each round you're going to roll this die, which is going to show one of the categories, and this category happens to be WAG. So players will simultaneously select a dog, so we got Mo, Maisie, Lucy, and Sasha are placed out here, and each person will put their token on their dog so you know who their dog is. Players will have a handful of event cards, and then you get three rounds to play these cards. Some cards are reactions and can be played in other people's turns, but what you'll do is you can add the stats to it. So here you can see I can add these stats. I want some, uh, well, I want WAG, so let me see if any of my cards add WAG. None of my cards add WAG. So I'll play this card on someone else's, maybe, I don't know, and this will add to the stats. And you just play these at the bottom. It's really simple. You just put them there and it will show how the stats have changed. Instead, you can choose something else like Puppy Opelix, Puppy, Puppy, whatever. This everyone discards their entire hands and draw the same number of cards from the event. Or now, the judge category is ears. Well, that's a great thing. Maybe I'll play that one and then play this minus two ears in somebody else's. Of course, you can also cancel people's things with your reactions to what they have. After everyone has done that, whoever has the highest and everyone wins in a tie will advance their dogs up here to the winner's circle. After we've done this for a certain number of rounds, we're going to do the same thing again. And then this time we're judging everyone based on goodness for the final round. If you never got a dog up in the final round, then you get Docrates, or as Bill and Ted would say, Dograts, who has some pretty bad stats here. 10 out of 10, but that's it, and you'll use this dog instead. Whoever wins that round is the winner of the game. Of course, the game has nice artwork of dogs here, unless you, like me and Jay Leno, don't like dogs wearing human clothes, but whatever. I mean, they're cute dogs. These are laid out very nicely. The game definitely has that cutie patootie type thing here. The, the boopability, which I'm not sure is a word I've ever used before I played this game, is there. But if you're all about cute dogs, then you'll like that. The tokens and everything are fine. The These cards are really simple, you know, they're easy to to play and do, and it's the reaction cards are red. I, other than the boring Winter Circles board here, everything about this game is pretty good component quality.
I want to be quick to say here that my negative opinion of this game is really not affected by the cute dog thing. I like dogs for the most part. Poodles are abomination. But I like dogs. Puppies are cute. Dogs are great. I, I've owned dogs. I want to own a dog at some point again. Uh, I think dogs are fantastic. So. I, I'm not necessarily f a fan of dressing them up in human clothes or saying words boopable and sassiness of dogs. I just think dogs are awesome. But I get the game, right? I mean, I get the, the theming of it. That's fine. I could also go on a really long rant, though, about this whole 10 out of 10 nonsense. Because if everyone gets a 10, then nothing's a 10 and 10 becomes the new one, but whatever. I get it. You're trying to make some sort of statement that I don't care about. Anyhow, we rate dogs. The game itself, not a good game at all, really. Okay, you get to draft the dogs at the beginning. That's interesting. Pick the ones based on the stats. How do you know which ones to pick? You don't. You literally don't because you're going to roll a die. Yeah, you can see your cards at the beginning, you know, but every card you play can be canceled by someone else anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then once you have the dogs, it's just chaotic. Take that game, which is kind of outdated in 2019. Um, this is obviously not made for me. This is for the mass market. But I really feel like even in the mass market, you have all these stats there. It's like, ooh, interesting. Different stats of the dog. And then we just pick one randomly, play some cards, try to increase or decrease it, and one of them wins. I don't know. The game design just feels kind of lazy to me, really. I mean, it's the same game we've seen many, many, many times before. We just threw a cute dog theme on top of it. So, in summary... The theme of the game is fine. The game is actually a little longer than it should be also. It seems like it goes on quite a bit for what it is. Uh, but the, the theme is fine. I love cute dogs. But the game itself is neither cute nor fun. 5 out of 10. Because not all games get 10 out of 10. Dice Tower Judgment. Cute theme. Boring game. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.